Robertson, Claros to Wotherspoon and now Robertson. Tackle won by Hamill. Back it comes though to the Scotland under-21s player. Cross in for Taiwo, great header. And Hibernian lead and it's Tom Taiwo with his first goal for the club. But what about the setup from David Wotherspoon? He scored on this ground back in October when Hibernian romped to a 4-0 victory. He's turned provider this time. His cross was perfect, but it was the way that he found space to then swing the ball in for Tom Taiwo, whose diving header flew past Randolph. And Oyama providing a handful for McPake. Still going Oyama. Has the chance gone? Well, he's still got the ball. Half cleared. McFadden lines one up. Came off Stevenson. Now back in, Higdon! That's 1-1. One, one. And three minutes into the second half, Michael Higdon scores his 20th SPL goal of the season. McFadden with the inch perfect cross. And Higdon does what he does best. Cleared by Stevenson. It's there for McFadden. He breezes past two. Lines it up. James McFadden with a wonder goal for Motherwell. Faddy's back. Well, it was May 2003 when he completed a hat trick here against Livingston that he scored his last Motherwell goal. And what a special way to reintroduce himself to the Far Park faithful. What a goal from James McFadden. Wide it goes for Carswell. On as a substitute for Motherwell. Clipped in, Higginbottom, oh, it's brilliant. And it's 3-1 now to Motherwell. What a turnaround in this game. The finish was a thing of beauty from Callum Higginbottom. The former Falkirk player on loan from Huddersfield scores his first goal in a Motherwell jersey. McFadden, they're backing off him now. Tees up Haightley, takes a touch and it's four. That completes the job. Six minutes from time. McFadden with his second assist of the game. Haightley, it took a touch of McPeak on its way through, but Motherwell have been quite superb in this second half. This is not a fixture Aberdeen have enjoyed in recent years. Celtic have won 13 of the last 15 encounters. The other two have been draws. Here's Stokes. And now Commons looking to get Celtic off to the perfect start. And Chris Commons has fired Celtic in front almost instantly from kickoff. Well, Anthony Stokes holds the record for the quickest SPL goal in 12.4 seconds. He's supplied Commons with that one, and it can't be far off. Wilson, oh, he's lost out. Here's McGuinness. He's got Vernon alongside him. And Vernon keeps a cool head on the stroke of half-time to bring Aberdeen level. McGuinness, very unselfish, and there was Vernon. That's nicely worked to Gavin Ray. McGuinness, again the reverse ball, it's Josh McGuinness, and it's gone underneath Fraser Forster. And eight minutes into the second half, Aberdeen lead at Celtic Park. And it's Josh McGuinness with his fifth goal of the season, his first since November. It comes out to Gavin Ray. Oh, good strike, it took a touch off McGuinness on its way through. And it's Josh McGuinness that celebrates his second goal, Aberdeen's third. And Celtic are in real trouble here. 3-1 down. Up goes Ambrose. It's loose, it's still Ambrose. 
Mulgruno, a deflection. And there's still time for Celtic. 22 minutes left to play. Charlie Mulgrew deflected off Russell Anderson. It was scrappy. But the Celtic player will not mind that. It's a vital goal. Commons again with the corner. Ambrose off the line. Hooper. And Celtic are level. It's 3-3 with three minutes to play. What an incredible game this is. And now Aberdeen are really hanging on. Commons free kick. Celtic searching for the winner. Samaras! Oh, it's quite incredible. Unbelievable stuff at Celtic Park. The champions have come from 3-1 down to lead 4-3 and it's Giorgio Samaras with what is surely the winner. Commons free kick, Lassad with the knockback and brilliant improvisation from the Greek striker Giorgio Samaras. Taylor with the corner. Well, there's four on and touched in and it's Andrew Shinney. After just five minutes of play, Charlie Taylor with the corner for him. Got a good header in, it was well saved by Michael Fraser. But Andrew Shinney was the man to react quickest. And from just centimetres out, he gives Inverness the lead. It's Vigers. Teed up. Lawson to strike it! Great goal, Paul Lawson! A fantastic hit from 30 yards, and this one bending away from Ryan Essen. It was all teed up for Paul Lawson to score his second goal of the season, but what a finish it was. Taylor, good turn of pace by Charlie Taylor, and breaking into the box. Oh, down he goes, and penalty, says Ian Brines. Ross County absolutely incensed. Kovacevic pleads his innocence. Derek Adams can't believe it, but Charlie Taylor has won a penalty. The challenge from the Swiss, Kovacevic. Charlie Taylor was certainly on his way down. And it will be Billy Mackay against Michael Fraser. Billy Mackay puts Inverness 2-1 up. He scored the winner in the cup replay here from the spot, and he's put Inverness 2-1 up again, sending Michael Fraser the wrong way for his 24th goal of the season. Harkins has won it back. Now Brian Easton in a rare foray forward for Dundee. Well, Conroy's managed to get a hold of it in the box, and Conroy! That's the 10 men in front. Ryan Conroy stuns the home crowd at Tannadice. And Dundee lead in the derby. What a finish it was too from Conroy. Brian Easton venturing down the left-hand side. He swung in the cross. A good first touch from Conroy. The second was devastating. Easton with the assist. Ryan Conroy blasts it beyond Ciersniak. And now Dundee United have a real job on their hands. Armstrong. Cross blocked and it comes back for Armstrong. Daly's there. Gardai, this 1-1. One, one. There's the equaliser with just a minute left to play. Jackie McNamara celebrates. It was Daly who knocked it on for Michael Gardine. And Dundee United are level so late in the day. It's harsh on Dundee, but United won't care. <laughs>